Antonio, it's Evangeline. Are you and Layla still at Ultraviolet? Actually, we were on, uh, on our way to your place. Oh, no, 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 no. No, uh, you know what? I hate to ask you this, but is there any way you can find Layla another place to stay tonight? Everything okay? The Killing Club killer broke into my home. What? Uh, are you all right? Uh, what what did, happened? Did, did he take anything? Actually... He left something behind. Natalie's still alive, John. Otherwise, why would the killer send you a lock of her hair? He wants you to know he still has her. I hope you're right. Nothing else makes sense. He wants you to react this way. So what I do now? Wait for him to send me a finger? Maybe Natalie's head, nicely packaged in a box. She's still alive, John. They're going to find her. Yeah. We're half forensic to run the DNA of them in this. Compare it to a sample from Natalie Vega. I'm on it, Lieutenant. Something else? That guy you've been looking for, Scott Randall from Marcy's original killing club. Yeah, what about the Task Force just picked him up. They're bringing him in now. Good deal. I should go. Hey, you know, this guy, he, he could be our killer, even his accomplice. So, you know, if you feel up to it, I was wondering if maybe you could take a look at him. Whoever kidnapped us wore a mask. I never saw his face. He spoke in a whisper. I, I know, I know, but maybe something about him will jar your memory. You know, his, his height, his weight, the way he moves right now, he's our best shot at finding Natalie. Just tell me what you need me to do. Just having you here helps. I didn't get a chance to say this earlier, but um, I'm real sorry about your apartment. No problem. My sister probably would have ransacked it anyway, right? I'm sorry you ever got involved in this. You're not responsible. Whoever's doing this is a lunatic. Who's targeting me? Enough, John. I don't blame you for what happened, so stop blaming yourself. I told you it was dangerous ever to get involved with me. Maybe now that we're not together, you'll be safe. Uh, um, I'll, I guess I'll just check on Layla. You're Scott Randall? That's right. You were in a, a club in high school with Marcy Walsh? I was in the killing club. I've also read her book and the news articles about the copycat murders. You must also know what I'm about to ask you next. You have anything to do with the killings? With all due respect, wearing that collar don't mean a damn thing around here, Father. John. No, officer. I am not the killer. And I can give you alibis for every one of the murders. You recognize him? The guy who kidnapped us was shorter. We're still gonna need those alibis. Feel free. I have nothing to hide. I'd really like to see you catch whoever's doing this. How's Marcy doing anyway? I've been worried that with all this... What do you remember about the killing club? That was a, another lifetime. You'll expedite this process, Father, if you just answer the questions. We were the outcasts, the losers, for one reason or another. Too smart, too geeky, bad at sports, shy, poor... And which were you? All of the above. It's ironic, actually. We started the club because we were losers. Sort of the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing. But as time went on and people found out about us, the club got cool in its own way. Soon even we started excluding people. Any of those kids ever get upset when they were rejected? Sure. Nobody likes to be rejected. Do you remember any of their names? No idea. Marcy was the one who kept the loser's log. The what? She didn't tell you? No, no, she didn't say anything. When someone was excluded from the club, their name went on a list. The loser's log. Nice club you had going there. I'm not proud of it. Kids are cruel. We were no exception. We were happy to have the opportunity to be the mean ones for a change. Actually, that's when I ended up leaving the club. I really wish I could remember more. Okay. 
ask you to stick around for a while. Brewer? Sir. Take the uh, father downstairs to a holding room. Get him whatever he needs. Might have a few questions for you later. Okay. That's my thought. You think one of the killing club rejects is the killer? I think we're going to find out. Who is this? Hugh Hughes from the DA's office. Lieutenant McBain, right? Why are you answering Marcy's phone, Hugh Hughes? I gave her a lift home from Ultraviolet. All right, well, look, I need to talk to her right now. She's pretty drunk, Lieutenant. I don't think you're going to get anything coherent out of her tonight. It'll have to wait till tomorrow. All right, have her call me first thing. You got it. What's going on now? Apparently, Marcy's too drunk to talk. <sighs> yep. Got the results of the DNA test. Red hair definitely came from Natalie Vega. Natalie's still alive, John. You know, you should get some rest, but I don't want you going back to that apartment. I'm not leaving. I want to help. I can't stop thinking about what that priest just said. The outcasts rejected other kids. A loser's log? You think it means something? Yeah. I think it might be the key to saving Natalie. 